The breakdown boys, Wade Sensei. Oh, we are back. Uh, I got a haircut. That's all we're going to say. We're not going to talk about the rest, bro. <laughs> you can't see it. it. Clean right now. You can't see That's it right what I'm saying. Now. That's why I put the headphones on and not the little loopy ones that I usually wear. I put these on on purpose. I want to get the head dent like you got. No diddy. Uh, Here we go. Yeah, there it is. I just waited for you to get done playing Fortnite. You took an hour. This is what, this is what we wait on. You took an bro, hour to play robbing. Fortnite. <laughs> Shout out Munoz. Um... Okay, today is not late though. That's why. No, oh that, that's ah, nice. today is a, a stacked episode. We have a lot to talk about. Um, a lot going on for this week with Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. We're gonna get into all of it. It's chaos as usual. We're gonna do our weekly checking Ryan Garcia's tweets uh, to mm -hmm. see what's been going on with him. But before we do that, uh, a couple things. Let's run through a couple of these uh, quickly, just because there's been a lot that's happened. Let's start with some influencer boxing. Um, yeah, did we talk about the card? Or was we it didn't. Stream? We didn't. We didn't. We didn't even talk about it on stream, really. Oh, no. We did with that one. Sorry. But we didn't talk about um, the, the Cruiserweight the, tournament that they just The announced. Cruiserweight, I meant. The, cry, the Cruiserweight. We, we didn't talk about the Cryerweight, Cruiserweight. Cryerweight, right? yeah. Um, we did not talk about the Cruiserweight deal, but it's been about a week now, so we need to go... Let me go back and find that. Damn, you know what's crazy? Yeah, Happy Bunch didn't even put it on their thing. That's wow. interesting. I mean, hold on. Let me let me make sure before really? I say sure? that. Sure. Are you sure about that, bro? Because I think Misfits did, but let me make sure. Yeah, bro. April twelfth. I'm going all the way back, bro. I'm going. Damn. I'm going back to yeah, because, bro, is this a passing of the torch? To to you know, in a what? sense, you know what I mean. Yeah. For Misfits to not put one, they didn't put the the or for, for Happy Punch. Happy Punch didn't put the Misfits. Uh, what's it called? Fourteen. Is it fourteen? They didn't put the Misfits fourteen thing on there either. They just put Salt Poppy. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. And and by the way, they've been killing it with the the pro coverage. So fair play to them. Yeah, they're turning into a monster. But this is the passing of the torch. Happy Punch no longer in the Nessus like. In the uh, crossover boxing business. What does it say on the top, though? What? Happy Bunch? Like they're... they're... Oh, that was Misfits. Yeah, never mind. I was like, what? No, yeah, this is Misfits. Um, so let, let's do this really quickly. I just thought that's interesting, man. I, I didn't even yeah, think about that. That is... It's an end of an era. It's honestly, though, like, I'm also... We're, like, you're seeing everybody's kind of, like... Yeah. Moving away from it a bit. But let's still cover it here. Um, let me see... If I can find the Misfits Cruiserweight tournament. By the way, this was hilarious. I didn't, we didn't see that on stream, but KSI George Foreman. Yeah. Five, ten years ago? Still don't do that. Still do not do that. We, last night, we went down the rabbit hole and watched all Little George Foreman's hole. knockouts. It was so vicious, dude. People don't Class understand. Was so Class was so fun today. I was just like doing drills like weight transfer. Boom. Yes, dude. I was, I was, talk, I was like, in yeah. the barbershop for like an hour longer than I should have been talking about George Foreman today. Yeah, man. We're going to talk about more of it here in a second. But, okay. Let us see. Okay, here it is. There it is. The Misfits Cruiserweight Tourney. We have Face Temper versus Poppy Luisto? I don't know who that is. We're going to have to take a look at him. Luisto. I don't know who that is either. Uh, but Poppy Luisto and your boy? Temper's Face back. Face Temper, He's man. He's back. He's been training. We know hey. this. Yep, yep, yep. Tourney's dangerous. You know what he looks like? Loki? They punch to the sky, bro. I don't know. Yeah, for, for a guy that tall, what are we doing? You know who he looks like, Loki? Oh. Starting to train? He looks like Kenny when Kenny started. You're right, the way he punches. Yep. Except that right hand, sorry. That right, right hand looks no. like. Uh, just, it's just, the coach is obviously. You're too. Having to punch you, up. you don't need that. But. He, he, okay, that right hand looks like we he's got going a, to. We got a new guy. New guy, and, yep. uh, oh, here we go. Here's more. And um, I like it, man. I, again, tall. Eight weeks ago? Super tall. My man doing external rotation with the shoulders. All right. Yeah, bro, this kind of... Okay. Bro, this guy could be a problem. Gonna... I know. That's what I'm saying, bro. These if guys he, just if he takes it serious... <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. God. The genetics on this guy. Oh, it's just man. the athleticism. Freaking like Tommy he Hearns walking out, around in like, there, dude. Oh, dude. If he figures it out, we're like, if he oh. figures it out, I'm, yeah, bro, stop boxing, everybody. 
because a lot of the guys, you know, influencers, they have to transform themselves into athletes into an athlete. This learning. guy is a freak, uh, well, almost well, Olympic level athlete. Here. Here. Yeah, exactly. And like, oh, we just gotta figure this out. Like, yeah, G G, buddy. Like Chase is a perfect example of that. Chase the more. Yeah, Chase still trying to figure it out, but yeah, when he does, pfft. yep. But still, he's dangerous enough and athletic enough to like go survive. Who was the guy that he fought? The the bare knuckle guy. Um, I don't know. I can't think of it off the top of my yeah, head. I know what he looks like. But we know, yeah, we but, know who it is. But what the distance with that? guy? I'm telling you right now, if you and I, you and I have to do a decathlon, I'm definitely schooling you in this high jump, son. And I'm, I'm wearing glasses like that. I'm winning the pole vault. Yeah, you probably will win the pole vault. I'll just, I'll just concede the pole vault. I'm doing, <laughs> we ain't doing that. I'm conceding that one. I know you're too prideful to to concede, but I'll just be like, hey, yeah, you got that one. You still try it. What about the long jump? And oh, triple stop. jump. Stop the long jump. Are you serious? I'm jumping what further than you drive, dude. What are you saying? But I think I, I'm thinking you're more concerned about the landing. No, I don't care. Here, if it's one jump, I'm good. The triple jump is where you'll get me. Mm-mm. That no, yeah. <laughs> I gotta land on one leg and then bounce off again. No, 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 no. That ain't happening. I had some practice. Jose, uh, Jose won the MVP for for track. Bro, I still to this day hold the like U15 record in Tennessee for the long jump. Oh, I think. Wow, let's go. I think. Okay. I don't yeah, know. Serious, serious. That's serious. Your boy, when I had, I'm telling you, when I had, I think you're worried about landing though. Your knee, your knee's gonna. When I had functioning knees, it was over, dude. Yeah, knees over toes, guy. Save me. There's me. Twenty years. Uh, okay, so that's him. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. So we got a nice tourney, man. We got a nice tourney. Um, it is. Early predictions or not? Nah? Because things, dude, it's right around the corner, low key. Mm. Nah, we'll, we'll keep it here. We'll keep it here. We, we, we want to see more, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we'll, we'll make some decisions. Uh, Can you okay. believe they, they, some people, someone threw me under the bus, dude. What happened? What do you mean? On Twitter, they were like, Three you under the who, bus. People who declined, who were offered, but declined the tourney. What? <laughs> who said Josh that? Buckner. Bay Sensei. What? And then there was, I think there was, there was two others, I think. Was it Salt Poppy, I think? No, I don't know. No, who's, it who's, like hold that. on. Who no, said that? Salt. Who said that? Where did you see that? Because you know, I'm people would just be making shit up, dude. Yeah, but they weren't lying. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, okay. So you declined it, but not as like a. It wasn't a full offer. Right. There wasn't like you, okay, here's I, money. I we got to that point. They, and also, let's no, talk about the I reason. Asked, if, if... I, was, I know. They was, I was asked, and I was like, you know, who's in it? Exactly. We'll talk about it in a second, but hold on. I want to see. <clears throat> ain't about to, ain't about to freaking. Funny. Yo, Sensei, would you get back into, into the cage for this fight at Misfits MMA? Bruckner and me. Dude, why would I want to get back into MMA? Someone asked you to do, someone asked you for Misfits MMA, you and Bruck? Why would I want to get back it's into It's crazy. MMA? It's insane. The fact that they're oh, yeah. still trying to do IFN. that. IFN, IFN. Of course, IFN said that shit. Yeah, fighters who decline to be a part of the Misfits Boxing Cruiserweight title tournament. I mean, Dr. Mike, JMX. Oh, Dr. Josh Mike would have been a shout. That would have been fun. Josh Bruckner and Faye Sensei. I think you have probably out of those people. Those are the, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good. Four, that's though. a good. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good little yeah, mini we, bracket we by itself. There. That's a little yeah, mini bracket. Um, but I think out of the out of most people, you probably have the most legitimate reason not to. Yeah, I, I, my first question was, how many fights? When are the fights? Are they guaranteed money? All the fights, you know what I'm saying? If we get guaranteed fights, you know what I mean? What we're saying here. Uh, how much are we talking? <laughs> you know what I mean? And also, who the hell's in the tournament? Yeah, yeah. Because it's Cruiser. Yeah. And then... Um, you got Tommy, you, you got know? Le'Veon, that's tough. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw Tommy... I was like, I'm like, no, 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 bro, I'm good. We're done. Yeah. You're done. Uh, but no, this will be a fun tournament, man. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for this. I mean, obviously, we're excited for the May 11th deal. So fun stuff over at Misfits. Uh, but let's quickly transition uh, into MMA, sir. Woo! The UFC 300 guard this weekend. Obviously, I've talked about it and talked about it and talked about it. Let's get quick thoughts from you. Uh, is Max Holloway the most loved fighter on the planet right now bro yes this he is right now like <clears throat> in combat sports must see right now dude his star must has never TV. been bigger and also yeah, no, like if he's fighting bro you you're watching you're watching like max is fighting tonight bro, good for him too expect. by the way good for yes. him a guy that's given everything to this sport a fighter's fighter he's not just the fans favorite fighter he's fighters favorite fighters i was listening to the 
yeah. Jorge Masvidal all the day talking about him. He's like, I love him. Uh, Hanato Moicano, like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Dustin Poirier, yeah. everybody loves this guy. Connor's tweeting about fighter's him. favorite fighter. A hundred percent. Look at this. I, um, <clears throat> I saw this. This doesn't have to do with Max, but this is the emotion and at one point in my life, I would love to be a part of a card like this for this reason. Look at Joe Rogan. I don't know. We might not be able to show this. Might get, you know, copyrighted. But I just want to show you. Look at this. I couldn't sleep last night. Oh. I kept getting up in the middle of the night. I was like, it's happening. Yeah. It's just hours away. I'm so fired up. I mean, I've been here since UFC 12. So just the fact that it became the sport that it is today is beyond my wildest imagination. And to be here for this card with you guys... For UFC 300, <laughs> I'm just blown away. I, I love that so much, dude. It's amazing. A guy that's been there since UFC 12. And UFC Damn. 300 is there. It's going to be me, too. That's going to be us, dude. That, that, that is going to look like you, yes. For sure. <laughs> At some point. Um, that's then, dope, though. To see the gratitude in real time. Yeah, man. It's so sick. They even had a, a, a mic, a hot mic on Mark Goddard that, again, I don't know if we could show because... That, but essentially, Mark Carter goes, oh, that's <laughs> just like we all did. And he's in the cage. And he goes, it's over, it's wow. over. And, you know, he waves it off. But he's like, oh, did, it was did so you crazy. The, dude. Talk about the moments at that time, like the, obviously the intensity and the excitement when he knocked out Gaethje. But did you see DC, bro? It was DC and Rogan in the clip of DC when he saw. It's like Max he almost cause, cried. Yeah, because they're close. I guess they're like, they're golfing buddies now yeah. and stuff. And he just, like, it's shocking. Okay, I think we can use this footage because it's fan so footage. So explosive. Yeah, it's fan. So let's check, even Bro, though, again, we may, we, we, Christian, be careful with this most... because we got, we got struck with this last time, even if it was fan footage, but be careful. This is so gangster because he was winning. He's winning the fight, bro, and just like, let's just throw this. it. Mm. With the clock on one second, son. Look at that. And to do it on to a zeros. guy like Gaethje, where that's the most, like, he's like the most dangerous guy to do it with, you know? That is the one guy that everybody else that's not Max Holloway is going, no, 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 no. We right, good. right. If this dude, I heard <laughs> Masvidal today, if he points to the center of the cage, run. Legitimately run. <laughs> like, don't, don't do that because he's gotten yeah. everybody that he's done that with. Uh, there's one that shows the fighter well, the reaction. The way that Justin didn't move. It's great. Out, slumped, cold, buddy. We got to see, uh, look at DC. This is, those are moments you just can't recreate, man. He's like, I love this sport, best sport ever. You can't. You don't create this no, Super Bowl, NBA. You don't. You just can't, you know? It's different. By the way, that was the moment things turned. Boom. Spinning back kick to the nose, dude. Jump spinning back kick shattered his nose. I want to see the fighter reaction. Oh, W. Um, actually, I think I quote tweeted one. So, okay, we're talking about it. Uh, obviously, that is the, the standout moment of the card. Max is for sure the baddest motherfucker, you know, it, that he lives the moniker. But also, uh, there were some other good fights on here. Obviously, the main event. Oh, here's the fighter reaction. This is how everybody reacted. I love Izzy's reaction, especially because it's how everybody reacted. It's like yep, the, oh, yep. look, Max is doing the thing again. And then it, like, shit gets real. Watch this. A fighter's reaction is so real because there's no one on earth that understands this more than them. No. Yep. yep. And that's why I look at Ilya Taboria too. It's like, oh, shit. Because they know what on both sides that can feel like. You know what I'm saying? And that's real why. gladiator stuff, dude. And that's, real dude, gladiator that's stuff. why it's probably hard to be in the crowd as a fighter, anybody else close to other people that are in the sport or, God forbid, family members of the people in there. Oh, man. Because you, you, it's not like what we like me reacting to it here on live stream. It's like ah, but in there it's like oh shit, and it kind of is like that eerie feeling. You know what I mean, dude? Family, the worst. It's the worst. Ilya is the crazy one. He said, Ooh. and funny enough, that's probably the next fight, which I love. I know that's what I'm saying. Like a gladiator waiting in the wings. Love it. Watching the. Watching the next guy like win, and then Max has his moment. How about this, by the way? Wars of the crowd. 
Look at this. I love this message from Ilya Tupori. He says, congrats on your performance, Max. Respect your story and everything you achieved with a beautiful family. Hopefully, we can share the octagon before the end of the year. And trust me, you're going to feel something you never felt before. I will be the first one to take your lights out. Philippians 4.13. What? Bro. Let's, let's just go ahead and read Philippians 4.13. Uh, 4. Someone played... Hold on. Let me just... There we go. I know both how to be a bat a based, and I know how to be a bound. Everywhere in all things am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Oh God. Both to be a bound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So essentially, when you start quoting scripture. Bro. As in, with Christ, as if Christ is with me, nothing be against me type stuff. And you put that, that otherworldly power into what you're doing, bro. It's a hard G to be. Bro. But here's Max with G the comeback. Geez. Max said, it's all love, champ. I'll be seeing you soon. Jeremiah 51.20. Bro, they're going bar for bar? Bar for bar. Bible, Dis di Bible quote diss track. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. <laughs> that right there is a response, son. Tell me that doesn't get you fucking fired up for a fight, though. Bro, Bible verse. In we've never seen it. I love it. It's wild. I, I love, love that shit. It's because cold. it's conviction, too. It's cold and it's conviction. It's movie-like. This is like... This Bro, is there's insane. no other way to speak. I mean, there is, but... It's, it's like gangster Denzel. to speak in like in translated Hebrew. That shit's gangster because the way the these yeah. and thine and I will break right, thee right. in pieces. Essentially, the the wordplay here is that the kingdom of one forty five is Ilya's, and I love the break the pieces of nations thing because a lot of people in Spain yeah. behind Ilya, right? We're gonna break the pieces of the nation apart. Bro. And we're taking the kingdom. I love this, dude. This is amazing. How are my battle axe and weapons of war? Come on. Ugh. Woo. Love it. So you need these guys trading. I'm like, what's up? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah bro. That's bro. Gonna be, that's going to be. And you know, Ilya does these cool videos. Imagine he's getting the tattoo on him or some crazy shit. Oh, bro. Anyway, love it. Love the fight. Ilya did say something in an interview. He goes, listen, it was another cold quote. He was like, you know, good, good performance, but let's be honest, I'm not standing there in the middle and throwing with no technique. I did what it took you 90 minutes to do, or I did what you couldn't do to Volk in nine minutes when it tried, like, you went 90 minutes with him. I did it in nine. Yeah. I was like, oh, got a point. Because he's, the, he's and Ilya not playing, is, playing. Ilya's not playing no games like that, and he's going, oh, you want a box? Oh, let's box, buddy. It's like we were watching the boxing highlights, George, yeah. these guys in the pocket, they're... Like very 100%. methodical. It's 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 violent and it's aggressive, but they're not just guessing. Nope. Very measured. No. Controlled violence. Um dangerous. So then we had uh obviously the, the main event obviously was the second fight everyone wanted to talk about, which was uh Alex Pejeda adjusting his cup after being kicked directly in the nuts. Herb Dean, get out of my way. Left hook to your jaw, son. Bro, the way he grabbed Herb Dean was like, no. Not even, didn't even look at him. Just like, excuse me. Bro, just the peripheral. Just If Jalen had won this that fight. That would scare me, dude. If I'm fighting somebody and I kick him in the nuts. And he don't. And then yeah. he don't break eye contact. Yeah. And then the ref comes over and then he just goes. Shama. I'm like, not. I'm not... Yeah. Not even breaking focus, dog. This would have been badass had Jamal actually won. So check this out. You know, Alex is doing his thing. You know, he's pulled back the freaking bow. Watch Jamal. It's so funny. He lets go the arrow. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that at all. That's LeBron shit right there, son. That is. Dude, That's some LeBron all shit. Over it. Um... It's just because the way he Max caught Holloway it. fighting for their he life. But like we, to me, he caught it. He was way too aggressive with the catch. Go back real quick. Oh, yeah. The way he, like, really, like. The way he caught it. The way he was catching it like a he, glizz. He was like, 
like more like you know swag with it but he was yeah the last part the last like, part no, does he, it he with the like, double like, throat slash <laughs> Like the way, like he really. Like, you got to think, talks. Alex has got you got experience. This is Jamal's first time. He's freestyling it. You know what I'm saying? Jamal's like, oh, oh I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, facts. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of rumor was maybe he'll fight. He was wanting to fight at 301. Oh, they said he crow copped his leg. That's that's nasty, dude. I don't like to see that. Oh fuck. He um, did. It wasn't as bad as crow cop. He just twisted the ankle because everything shut off. Um, but it is, uh, a lot of people were like, oh, yo, he'll get, he'll get Tom Aspinall at 301. And I was even thinking, fuck it, if he still wants to do it. But apparently he came, uh, Pajeda came into the fight with a broken toe, I think. And wow. also broke another one during the fight, apparently. So that's, that's not crazy. happening, but still legendary performance, man. Um, he wants to go to heavyweight. Is it what's what? Is, yeah. He wants to go to heavyweight and fight Tom Aspinall for the third belt. No one's ever done it. Imagine he beats Tom and then calls out John Jones. Imagine he beats Tom and just fucking retires. He'd be the GOAT. Yeah, he would be. If he beats Tom, he's the GOAT. He's yeah. the GOAT. Three division world champ? But then he can what? fight John Jones to be the undisputed. Beats John fight. Jones, retires. Just comes into the sport <laughs> five years, like, what was it? Not even five years ago. Like, four, three years ago and just takes it over dips. Did it all. Bye. Crazy. Oh, that's insane. It's crazy. And and his the the like his ability to do it quickly at 85 is the reason this is all happening. Yeah. Because there's no way once he starts making these jumps that he's going back to 85 ever. No. But no. it's insane, bro. Yeah, um, what about his celebration? You seen that clip? He's like Yeah, he was like, This the, the guy, guy right here, this is what y'all said. Um, to be fair, I picked Jamal, so he was you gotta hold, that, I got a TikToker. Hold like the like, yeah. one of the most famous TikTokers. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the guy's it's name. It's so funny because a guy like Alex to see him imitate him, like it makes no sense. Like it's like a, such a comedy. You don't expect it. It's like Kawhi Leonard. You don't expect oh, look, there, yeah, it, it is. Alex to do like that. I don't expect him to do that. No, know? especially after like, like when... a funny celebration, like like a like a, a, a meme. meme celebration. Yeah, a meme. He did a meme celebration. I didn't expect it, especially after the fun, one of the funniest things I've ever seen on UFC Embedded when they show Izzy's place and they show his Pokemon and Alex is like, <laughs> like he's like frustrated by it. <laughs> <Yeah>. He's like. <laughs> fucking guy so i didn't expect that but um this was something i saw too i mean there was a ton of good fights obviously like everybody on the card had a, had a fantastic fight it felt like but the yuri pro Haska and alexander rakic fight was nuts for this reason specifically again christian probably won't be able to show this but i was for sure Rad like rakic was just gonna smoke him and in the first round he was landing everything and yuri's just doing his fucking thing and then last samurai him, dude. Fair play. You know what it reminds me of? He reminds me of um. Oh my! I'm gonna. It's gonna kill me right now. I'm, I'm gonna forget his name. MMA fighter. He was super awkward. Kind of looked like him. Oh, Keith Jardine. Yeah, facts. What a call. Right? Yeah, dude. He's got a lot of Jardine in him, dude. Facts. A little bit of Chet Congo wild. too. If we're really going back yeah. there, Chet Congo. Yeah. I remember who was he fighting? Was it was it the Pat Berry fight where Chet Congo gets rocked and he's all doing this with his head and then here comes Pat Somehow. Berry and he throws one Somehow. right hand and Pat Berry fucking folds on the ground. He like gets a little hammer fist, wins it. That's that's, that's us the again. Yeah, that's us again in UFC five. Yeah. Oh, by the I way, got Wade on the ropes. Oh, he's stop! To go out stop, and dude. Then no, no, it's not one like that. One punch, boom, GG. That's not how it goes. Do you want to tell the I'm people not, your record against me in, in UFC 5 just real quick? Dude, you cheat, dude. He, I cheat. Wow, I it. cheat. There was two fights. Two fights. He still can't get over this. We played this last night. Go ahead. I rocked him. I didn't rock you like, at all, I, though, right? I, no, no, no. You rocked I'm saying I stunned him. Mm -hmm. And then the ref came in and called the fight for me to lose. Okay, you didn't, you didn't stun me. You are not telling the story. I butchered your face. No, in both of those fights, you had more cuts than me. This guy can't lose, bro. Uh, oh, I can. I lost. That's two. I, I, that's, that's. I think I'm thirty. 10, you know what I'm saying? No, well, 30 it's not thirty and ten. I think I'm like thirty six and nine. Let's be honest. But all yeah. right, then thirty thirty four and eleven, dude. I don't think you've had double digit wins yet. That's on purpose. Um, by the way, news update about Target, one of my favorite places. They're selling my size T-shirt now. This is good. Wow, perfect. Yeah, it's fantastic yeah. for me. Um, all I need that's now it. is the complete opposite for your shirt, Taylor. and we're good. Just the shirt that, like, it looks like a turtleneck, but it's not, so it can fit you perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have any. Yeah. 
Uh, anyway, so that was UFC 300. Any other fights that you missed that you or I missed that you wanted to talk about? I mean, um, quick runs. We had Figueredo beating Cody Garbrandt submission. Uh, we had Zhang Wei Li winning uh, a, a fun yeah. fight. Uh, we had what about Kayla. I didn't watch the Kayla fight, but she won in pretty dominant fashion. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Holly tried to grapple early. What did she do what? for some what? reason. Holly initiated grappling early. I don't know why. She actually That's reversed wild. Kayla early, and then Kayla was like, "Yeah, cool." No, no not smart. No. Um, I think it's I probably gonna be Kayla. Yeah, you, you you hurt yourself. She hurt you. No, that was she. Well, she hurt me during the. Like, she was like, I was like, oh, let's do a hip toss for a video. You got tossed around by Kayla Harrison, yes. And what's what's funny is that she didn't even like she did the hip toss, but like didn't fully do it. For, like she didn't like land on top of you. Like she just let like, you go. Yeah, she just let me go, bro. The amount of velocity in which I hit the mat sprained my MCL. Did you enjoy yeah. being tossed around by Kayla? It felt like you know when I watched the video, it was pretty enjoyable was experience scary. for you. It was scary. No, it wasn't. It wasn't fun. I mean, you, I remember you telling me specifically that no, you enjoyed no. it very much, and now this is your kink, is what I've heard. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, nope. Let me, let's just pull up the video. Also, we, we had, because uh, it was a jujitsu jitsu class, so we had, and then we were, like, like um, grappled. Damn, you're not even on the front I, no, page. I only, I, I, Where's I, the video? Is it just on your Instagram? On Instagram, yeah. You won't, it's not going to find it. All right, fuck it. Um, it's interesting you're trying to hide it. <clears throat> anyway. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I was, actually, I should post it. I haven't posted it in a while. I'm like, oh, I should just like cut out that last part though. You know. spot. But we grappled. Mm -hmm. One of the strongest people I've ever grappled ever. Dude, she's jacked, son. Jacked. I don't know how she made thirty five. I have no idea. I was like, uh, I have no idea. How I was she like, made oh yeah, she just passed my guard like it's nothing. And yeah. Just like I'm like I'm trying to like frame. Not happening, buddy. She's like ha ha ha. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. right Squeeze. Tapped. Arm Nasty. Bar, tap. Um, what else? Other fights that we missed. Hanato Moicano but beat how'd up. How'd she win, though? Arm bar? Uh, rear naked choke. Oh, yeah. It, she locked it in. It was like a millisecond. Holly tapped. Yeah. Um, Hanato Moicano came back after getting dropped to beat Jalen Turner. Had a great oh, yeah. post fight Jaylen, speech. Just the I don't ground know what he was like doing. It's, a, it's such a big gap, dude. Moicano just. Could have won the fight, though. Down. Jalen Turner knocked huh? him down and tried to do a walk off. Could have won the fight. Oh, I know, I know. Walked off, thought he had him. What that was about. But Moicano yeah. just like Easy. sliced, walked into Mount. Easy. Jalen like gave him out. And then what was it? Uh, choke, right? Or choke, choke as well? I think so, yeah. Or gra jiu -jitsu. ground and pound? I don't know. Um, jiu -jitsu was winning. It might have been ground and pound, honestly. I think, I think it might have been. Mount and he was turning and he was just, bam. Yeah. Cla again, but classic jiu-jitsu. Classic jiu -jitsu, bro. Um, what else? What am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, Bo Nickel won. A lot of people were disappointed. He said he was disappointed. Your boy Calvin Cater got got wrestled a lot by. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Aljo just got wrestled. Yeah, I think that was it though. Fun, like I said, fun card. Um, one of if not the biggest moments I think we've ever seen in the oh, history wait, of the UFC. Jim Miller. Oh yeah, Jim Miller and Bobby Green. Bobby pieced Bobby up. Green, that was oh pieced man. up man to start the the or on the prelim card pieced him up. See, how, see if we were fighting. And it was UFC 5? Yeah. Dr. Stoppage. Dr. Stoppage. Jim wins, though. Dr. Stoppage, Jim wins. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it would go. Bobby's just standing over there. Doc's like, no, nah, we got to call it. I was wondering why Jim, Jim wasn't trying to wrestle or anything. He's, I, I that Bobby, was the thing. But again, 300K for the bonuses wrestle, but... on the line. You know what I'm saying? Guys want to make an entertaining he's fight. He's up. Bobby's so good, man. His boxing's so clean. Good reactions, everything. Um. Fantastic. Great card, great card. Big time fight announcements as well. Yes. You got Dustin Poirier, Islam Makachev, headlining UFC 302. Big time card. Probably Dustin's Wait. last shot at the title. Uh, so I'm, I'm rooting for Dustin, for sure. You know what I'm saying? We all are. By the way, I love he just this. Has to Look at this. Jump and he's good. That's my BMF max underneath it. Turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That meme is so old. That's like a 10-year-old meme. Still getting play. We love it. And Max dressed up as this guy for Halloween one year, too. <laughs> he did. He's it's so great. Um, but yeah, UFC 302, uh, Islamic Kachev, yeah, I was saying, Dustin. Dustin is he's the not jump guillotine, and he's good. 
No, he's, he's not good. Do it. Even if he doesn't jump guillotine, it's going to be a rough fight, I think. I hope not, but I think. Yeah, I'm just wishful. But did, definitely more. don't jump Gilly. Don't do that. But again, he probably will. Um, Co-main, Sean Strickland, Hello Costa. Ooh. Yeah. Fun fight. Good stylistic matchup, too. Very good. Sean likes to stand and, and trade a little bit. Paolo will get in the pocket and throw with you. I think they're yeah, grappling. Paolo seems is, like a guy that like should grapple. Yeah, I was, yeah. He's doesn't. like Chandler. He's just yep. gonna he's gonna for the show he'll stand and throw. Speaking of Chandler, good segue. UFC three oh three main event. Connor Chandler finally announced on the date Connor said June 29th. Las Vegas, I think, right? Fun fight. Um Dude, if Connor loses this one. It's time. Actually, I don't know. Because you got the Diaz fight out there still. But No, no, it's not time. But we're talk- to me, it's going to be a major well, But, bro, if you, if you lose this one, that's what I'm saying. You, you, and it's you, not because it's Chandler's not good. It's because of the character that Chandler is. And the character Connor is. That's what I'm saying. It's like if Anderson, if Anderson lost the chills on him. Takes all that like, away, yeah. Uncle Chael would have like taken over because like you. It just it's and it's you like, see like Chandler's promos now. Like it's like he's a little corny, cringy guy. It's like Jameis Winston. Yeah, and and it's like the pro wrestling rub too. If you get beat by a guy that isn't necessarily considered to be on your level, they don't rise. You just fall. Right. That's the hard part. Like I don't see Chandler getting the max. I mean, maybe he will if he does a fucking Matt Holloway type of knockout for sure. He will. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I don't see right, him, yeah. you know, like even when Dustin beat Connor, he got a little bit of that, you know, that rub for the, you know, beating Connor, but it hasn't been like, he's been the number one guy. That was what Habib got off Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Habib, you felt he was on that level. You were like, Oh, this one's the one, you know what I'm saying? So that'll be, I mean, those are great cards. We'll definitely be tuned in, but since they, we have to get to the major point that we wanted to cover today. Yes. The meat and potatoes of the pod, and that is, it is Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney fight week. Oh, that's fight week? Yeah. They're fighting Saturday? They're fighting Saturday. It's time. Max says he's Majin Vegeta. Why would Max pick Majin Vegeta? He doesn't even win. He doesn't win twice. Yeah, I think he just likes He gets pieced up by Goku, gets frustrated, and then can't beat Boo, and so he just self sacrifices. Yeah. If you were going to pick a Super Saiyan for Max to be, who's it going to be? It's a crazy picture. Probably. It's got to be. Ultra Instinct Goku right now. Okay, well, you, we're not doing Ultra Instinct. We're just doing regular base form Super Saiyan. Oh, oh okay. This man said um, Ultra Instinct. I'm dead. Going well, straight to the like, top? He didn't beat Jiren. Come on. I know, but he's like... No, I get it, but if he would have beat... If he beats Islam, or if he beats... You know what I'm saying? Then, okay, yeah. Yeah. This is Super Saiyan... This is Super Saiyan 1 Go- Goku. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Super Saiyan yeah, 1 yeah. Goku. Super Saiyan 1. Beating up Frieza. You know what I'm saying? Beating up Frieza. That's a great call. Yeah, we'll take that. That's um, what she did on my birthday, by the way. Who? What happened? Just saying. What'd you say? What happened? Uh, <laughs> Goku became a Super Saiyan. On the day, like the episode came out? The, the day, day, day I was born. That's dope. Like the, the episode day. came out the day you were born is what you're saying. Yep. That's fine. June 19th, 1991. Well, let's be Goku honest. Like, this is, this and is, I was like this. Goku was going Super Saiyan, and I was the same thing, dude. I don't know if you were doing all that, but yeah. Uh, don't need to see video proof of that. the energy. Maybe. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Spirit Bomb was being built. Loki. All right, we're going way too into it. So, uh, <laughs> not, to, not to change topics to something completely off the wall here, but we have to talk about Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney fight week. Uh, you know what? GQ did one of the funniest videos. Not even funny, but it was just well shot. I'm going to show you a preview of it. And then I'm going to show you the, the actual video. Again, I don't know how much we can show of the actual video. But Happy Bunch did a, is, is got a banger tweet because of it. So this is Ryan Garcia on the GQ interview today. Now we know. AI? No, this is real. Um, <laughs> I thought that was an AI clip. Just Now we know 
that Ryan has been erratic. He has been manic at points. He has been psychotic at points. And at points, he's just been nonsensical. Yeah. This fight week, I think it's going to get ramped up even further. Then I don't know how that's possible, but I think it's going to be because Ryan's going to be on camera more, essentially. Uh, so this was the start of it. Check this out. This is from the last press conference, but they aired it today. NGQ. Doing what I do. All white. Looking nice. Okay. Come through. I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking the fight serious or not. <laughs> So that's a funny clip. I'm going to show you why it's, it, it's even more funny the way they did this. But for one, it's funny to me because Ryan loses beat in the middle. <laughs> he like fucks up the fucking beat oh, yeah. he's making himself because he misses the, the, the snap and then the hit the chair. NGQ, doing what I do. All white. <laughs> he missed the chair. That's why. It fucked him up. All white, looking nice. Okay, come through. He was off beat, the beat he made himself. <laughs> so he was trying to rap right there, right? So here's the funny part about that. Devin Haney's not in the room with him. This is shot and, and edited together. What? Yeah, bro. So GQ Who did a really cool... AI? It's Who not AI. AI. It's just they, they, photo, or they, they edited Devin into his seat. They couldn't be in the room together. They set it up to where they wanted him to be in the room together. But they couldn't. But they were like, we're not doing this in the room together. No. But they, what's cool is they made Devin, when he was doing his interview, look over here at somebody and Ryan look over here so that it looked like if you wanted to do something like this, that they were together. I was going to say, I'm not going to lie. Ryan is obviously like, he's wild. But Devin looks like the crazy one with the hell he's wearing. Dude. You know what he, he looks, looks like? like? The crazy person. He looks like Casey Jones from the Ninja Turtle series. I'm dead. He looks like some weird, exactly. Three, or weird like, 3032 or like uh, Blade. Like Blade Trilogy. Yes, bro. Yeah. Now, if we're talking fits, Devin looks like the eccentric one, but reality Wild. states that Ryan is off his rocker. Uh, okay, so we don't have to like watch the, the actual interview. Devin's like, <laughs> I don't think he's taking this seriously. While wearing that is crazy. It's a perfect, it's almost made, and I, I, I retweeted this, but it, it looks like a scene out of The Office. The way that worked, because this is what I said. I said same energy. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on this mug all day. Did you ask me here for any specific reason? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, That's a great grab right there. Bro. It's like same energy, bro. Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Ten right there. Uh, so that interview is is you know it's basically what people have been doing, but we, we don't want to go to the interview. We want to go to the source, bro. And the source in this case is none other than Ryan Garcia, leader of all conspiracies and or, oh, there's our guy, by the way. Hold on. There's our guy. What's his name? Ah, uh, what's his name? He just fought. See. This is our guy that fought Ryan, or this is our guy that fought Taylor Holder. Something of the world. Remember, he was like, he was just pointing this like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, dog. I do not. He was Why? the guy that was like, miracle lyrical. He was like doing all the videos on like, this is how you keep longevity and make peace. He was like, I'm, he was the guy that was reading people's minds. Remember, he had the, the telepathy. He could read your mind. And we were like, yo, he probably should be able to read the punches coming from Taylor in the fight. This is him. Oh, oh my God. That's him. So he's in the comment section here. Of Ryan Garcia, which makes sense. So here is our our weekly video <laughs> series of Ryan Garcia's tweets. Are you ready? I don't know how far we're gonna go back. Let's just do today. Let's just do the last couple of days. Damn, today. Let's do the last couple of days. All right, today is the fifteenth. Here is everything starting from April. We're not gonna listen to any of the video stuff. The we're just gonna go going from on? April. Dude, this is one day. This is one day. All right, let's do April 13th. Is where we're going. Oh He's more active than influencers. Actually, we're going to start at April 13th. All right, here we go. Uh, first off, he's thirst trapping heavy. Yeah. Thirst trapping heavy. Uh, he's like, I look like Kanye West. Jesus, forget. This is April 12th. Jesus, forgive me for my sins, the ones that I'm aware of and the ones that I'm not. Jesus, you are the king of kings forever. So it's like a pattern. He'll throw a Jesus one in there and then a thirst trap. No fucking diddy. Hey. 
Wow. <laughs> right after Jeez. the Jesus shit. <laughs> Jesus, forgive me. No fucking day. <laughs> I got to see how. Okay, this is the next day at least. He took a day in between. Okay, so okay, okay. here's April 13th. Uh, he's talking more. It's like Saturday night to Sunday, you know what I mean? I know, you know what I'm saying? We know that Ryan has no issue with doing a little drinking during camp, so. Yeah, yeah. Here's Ryan showing some footage, uh, I assume, of him. Yeah, this is him. Uh, and him hitting someone. He says, boom, down goes Haney is in. This one I'm about to do to Dev. Cool. Boom. Nice right hand. Uh, and this is when World War Three apparently happened. Uh, on the 13th. I was wondering about that, too. Yeah, it was weird. And there we go, Thirst Trap. Okay. Or on the Haney's in good shape. You know what I'm saying? No Diddy, but okay. No Diddy. And then here we go. This is, by the way, Ryan, who said he could, he could transition over to MMA and beat Sean O'Malley. Let's see what he's got here. He's a complete Ooh. underwear now. Okay. I just need the rating on the first kick. All right, let's see. <laughs> Okay, I love see, the, some of the issues here. There's more energy on the pullback than there is on the extension. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Also, I'm not sure what he was kicking at with that angle of the foot. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Eyes closed. You know? I like, I like the how circle he's, out, though. Yeah, he circles out. Okay. Oh, the delay. You see the little pause there? Okay. Try to fade him out. Fake it and then hold it and then snap it. Oh. Look at the recoil on that kick. <laughs> Pretty quick, though, dude. I like his breathing because he's breathing with everything. Right? So watch him breathe on the knee lift. You got to love that. Ready? <laughs> okay. Oh, Kung Fu. Okay, okay. I think that was him wrestling. Oh, the hook kick at the end. Hold on. Bro. I think he's wrestling before that. You missed the wrestling. He was. You missed he was the wrestling. wrestling. He was wrestling. This is how you teach ah, it in class, that. correct? Right yep, there. Look at that. Look at what my, my dragon's doing. The <laughs> obstacle courses. <laughs> Four-year-olds. <laughs> the hook kick. Wasn't bro, meant to be kick. a hook kick. Was not meant to be a hook kick. It was definitely meant to be a side kick. But you know what it is? It's the recoil that you keep talking about. <laughs> it's the recoil. So everything is more focused on the recoil because, look, this is definitely meant to be a sidekick. And then he recoils it just like he does his oh, other yeah. kick. <laughs> yeah, bro. That hook kick, bro. That's a nice hook kick, though. Because he's essentially just flicking it out the way he would his front kick, but he's just doing it from the Pants. side. You know what I'm saying? Put some pants on. Dude. Yeah, what are Damn we doing, it. bro? <laughs> soup, soup, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, bro. We got to do it. You know, you know, at the end, he's got the, the thirst trap right at the end. You had to. This the whole thing's a thirst trap again. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> I can't even do this right now. <laughs> this, like. Okay, so. I want you to try to get this picture in your head, okay? So, our junior black belts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got to get this off our screen. Belts. Yeah. When they, uh, we have like a rotational curriculum. Yep. We do different forms. And one of the forms that they have to do yep. is a solo form where they have to make up their own form. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, bro. And this looks like, like in the ending, <laughs> soon. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like, like, yeah. Like this whole sequence looks like a, this some, is freestyle. One of my little kids, this is freestyle. Who's making up his own form? It's freestyle, right? All here. right. So it's day one. What am I gonna do? All right. Let me see. What I'm, I'm okay. A punch here and a kick here. All right. Okay. Ah, I turn around, grab his leg, take him down. Like, <laughs> no form and like nothing. Turn around, grab his leg, take him down. Nothing structured yet. Just making it up on the way there. Ah, punch, turn, step, <laughs> kick. Wait, no, never mind. All right. Yes, kick. Okay. Like, bro. If you walk through it again, it's exactly Fuck what you guys did. me. And then he's like, I'm done? Salutation. <laughs> like, bow. That's all he was missing was a bow, bro. That's all he was missing. All right, so there's the game plan for Haney, wow. apparently. I got to see. I just Some of these, I, I want to see the comments I can on. just put, like, congratulations on your first stripe for your first solo form. That would be fucking like, hilarious. Oh, man. Someone take his phone. Oh, my. What <laughs> Ryan Garcia's on, turned into the Britney Spears of Fox. <laughs> Wow, you're a natural. Tim Welsh. That's Sean's coach. 
Oh, oh my god, it's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was April 13th. There's going to be a karate meme in there for sure. <laughs> in a way, firing back at claims he has to fight in America to prove himself. Ryan says, respect, I'd come to Japan and fuck your little ass. <laughs> wow, bro. All right. You know what I'm saying? You won't, respect. but all right. Uh-oh, respect. McGregor type shit. Oh, no. Here comes okay. the voice acting from Ryan. Fuck the hyenas. Fuck the hyenas. Shout out, McGregor. Highness. <laughs> highness. Fuck their heinies? What is he saying? No, the heinies. No, he's saying the that. Accent. I think he's saying the heinies, but. Fuck the heinies. <laughs> Fuck the heinies. But it doesn't sound. It sounds like heinies. Is, Fuck the heinies. <laughs> Fuck the heinies. That's wild. Shout out McGregor. <laughs> Shout out McGregor. You put no diddy under that. Yeah, no diddy. Go gotta be. Comments. Oh, no, the <laughs> comments. He wants to comment. Oh my god. Oh shit. Haters gonna hate. Yeah, bro. He's trying. Fair play to him. Uh emergency meeting. Some of these lives we're not even what? gonna play. Bobby, what is this? Bobby, what? although I don't think that's her name. He's talking about the blonde no. girl. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Aldo is crazy though. <laughs> he just didn't even give a fuck. He's like Bobby Aldo. <laughs> what? Fucked Drake, and that's why she got a divorce. She cool. So Ryan's spilling the tea here. She cool. Also, she was divorced before. Okay, all right, Sensei, you you up on game? I'm, I'm up on TikTok. You are up on game. Okay, I didn't even know. I kissed Bobby. Was before was pretty cool. Was cool. Pretty good kisser. All right. Well. Yeah. Right. Ryan confirmed not a joke. <laughs> Damn, you hating on Ryan? That's crazy. Cap. You don't think he can pull Bobby? Although. He's calling cat. You're up on games. I'm gonna trust you. Uh, Bobby and Ryan. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, teach me how to box. When are you free? Will you be around Vegas for Super Bowl? I actually will, but staying at my brother's and not actually going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm dead. Just going to Vegas. Well, okay. If you want me to come, if wait, if you want to come to the Super Bowl, I can make it happen. This is talking about the podcast they did. That sounds yep. fun. Could you record Saturday? I'll make it work. What time are you thinking? Yeah, so this is... <laughs> Ryan's like, oh, I kissed her. See, here's the proof. We set up oh, a podcast. Man. I have every woman in my DMs. Oh, buddy. Yep. Not me. Find God, little bro. That's actually funny. Um, but I love the then. What? Again, this Make is at night, sense. probably. My love. Okay. What's wrong? Eyes with, in love. What's wrong with her eyes? Um, I can prove I have Kylie in my DMs. Bro, that was the yeah. Something was. I heard that the conspiracy that those two are dating, Kylie and Ryan. Ooh, conspiracy theories. You're up on this. Is this TikTok shit? I don't know. It's a chill, Ryan. He said that to himself. My wife. Somebody else. By the way, you're, you're, this is your uh, God-fearing, Jesus-Christ-following Christian, ladies and gentlemen, oh, who yeah. is, you know, out here fornicating. Um, and then he just put a video of... This was, this was interesting. Did you see who this? is this? What is this? Wait, 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 did you not see this? No. What, how, oh, how am I supposed to see this, though? Brother, go back. Go to the beginning. You haven't seen this, huh? I'm just seeing it now. What is this? That is who is this? Uh, is this his son? Yeah, Bieber. What are we doing Bieber. here, bro? And Bieber. I'm Bieber, saying, what bro. are we doing? <laughs> Maybe Ryan's onto something, dude. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I'm not watching that shit again. <laughs> Beebs, bro. I can't. I, 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 bro, I'm not. I, I don't know. It's, just, it's also. It's also just a little. Maybe it's like a somebody like that. Yeah, it's no. a little weird to roll up that way. Should I even try to even justify anything I just saw? Nope. Maybe it's like a friend thing. No. Damn. No, it, you know. To, hey, to live your know, life. You know what I'm saying? Live your life. I know, but within the guise of Hollyweird. I know, and Justin Bieber got a lot Will of Hollyweird. Will Smith. 
that fa- with the things that they were you know, live the your life though hey man whatever live your life do your thing you know no no yeah but but when you're talking about people who are the like when you when you have the <laughs> what is the asterisks of kids in hollywood yeah bro that's uh, when you're like hmm, interesting and then he just texts apparently justin bieber just says yo bitch I don't know if it ever delivered, though, because, you know, I don't have delivers on. I never let no grown man kiss me like that. What the F? Do what you want, but that's gay. We love gay people, but bro, what? <laughs> what he, the contradiction. There. Just every Why? line, every line. <laughs> Do what you want. But that's gay. We love gay people, but what? <laughs> Someone photoshopped. I'm surprised the the photo with the uh, Eddie Renoso is not in there. That's crazy. Um, mom is good. Again, what are we doing? We're just out here leaking every what? all of our private conversations here. Guy, I got in an ax. The guy I got in a accident says he does not know what happened either. We just hit each other. Did great. It took over when the car was losing control. Why? Are, if this is his mother, why are we putting that on the internet, dog? I That's told weird. y'all Max would win Holloway. I told you Alex would win as well. Kanye walking okay. me out. This is on the 14th. By the way, this is just one day of, uh, of craziness. Kanye walking me out. You heard it here first. Big money, let's go. After he essentially said Kanye was a devil worshiper. Um, I've seen the worst things in life and y'all don't care at all. It's sad to see what people do to people that are going through a situation where it's unmatched. You wouldn't be the same if you saw what I saw. I'm crying. Going back to what he saw. And he's crying while writing this. Dude, maybe he got, maybe he got pulled into the Scientology trying to get out, bro. That, that would make sense, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? That would make a little more sense. That was at 7.44 a.m. Trying to get out of the Illuminati, bro. Keep bullying me back. And then two minutes later, again, it's just like a split personality, dude. He's back in boxing mode. Two minutes later. After he posts this one, he posts this one. And then we have... I watched this, bro. He looks like lightning. Yeah, he's super quick on this. One minute later, <laughs> he posts this one. <laughs> My man's locked in. This one was fire. If I saw more of this shit, I'd be ready. Even though I, the, I the in-between stuff is funny to me. He's all... It mean is. mugging his own brother. It's like, what are we do? And then he misses the bat on one, and he's like, let's get it again. That's stupid quick, though. Nasty. On that rug. <laughs> it's funny, man. But yeah, this looks great. He he, he like he Michael. Like Michael. Itch. itch. What? He swears he's got bars, dog. He swears he does. Uh okay, here we go. We keep going. Uh what? Oh, this is somebody responding to this tweet earlier where he said he'd seen bad things. He's, this guy says, what bad things could you have seen in life? You're a rich kid who's always been kept away from all the bad in the world. Dumb duck, I grew up poor as fuck with my mom and dad in the same room with five kids. You don't know me. Brody is training in his hotel room, acting like the talents isn't there, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Okay, God fearing Christian, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they threatened my fam. It's over for them. Red rum. Again, it's always they. What? It, he always refers to Same them bro? as they. I know. You're full conspiracy Holly, up. Holly, we were trying to get him, bro. But I don't know. Is he talking about Devin and them? I don't know. Who's he talking about? Damn, you're right. But again, you? they threatened my daughter, my firstborn, and you think I need a chill, bruh? You are fucking stupid. I like how he bleeped fucking, but he's been saying it in every other. Yeah. Uh, and then he, he retweeted the, the Matt Wallace guy who just retweets the craziest or says the craziest shit. Um, 
This is this is actually a crazy picture. The is that uh, a real picture? Yeah, I think so. The oh, Israel and Iran stuff going down. Missiles were launched and they shot the missiles down. Well, it's the Iron Dome, right? Oh wait. Yeah, it's the Iron Dome. Is Bro, Israel has that, that Iron that Dome a where real they real picture? I think so. Yeah. They have like this Iron Dome where they intercept stuff. In mid. Bro, so blessed to be, to be where we're at. American, yeah, bro. bro. Armageddon. Bro, imagine you look out, dude. Go go back to that picture. Hold on a second. I think this is real. I don't want to confirm it like we're freaking CNN. I have no idea. Stat to remember. <clears throat> bro, you look out and you just like... I don't know which side's this? which. I assume this is... Israel? Because it looks like more of a defense kind of deal there, but I don't know. Right, it looks like it's defense, but that's... That Iron well, Dome stuff has been launched? American funded, right? Like the U.S. funded a lot of that. Bro, just out your. This is like where people live. They're just like looking out. The they window said thirty-six of thirty-six that? missiles shot down. One hundred and eighty-five of one hundred and eighty-five drones shot down. One hundred and three of one hundred and ten ballistic shot down. Ninety-eight percent defensive success rate. Damn. Just watching like Transformers. Like, what is going on, dude? Yeah, bro, it's bad over there. That's wild. Then, right after Armageddon, he decides to post another thirst trap where he's smooching on some is individual. That... Okay, I was going to say, it looks like a person. Looks like somebody. Uh, it is indeed lit. <laughs> he said, nah, fam. Okay. Never kissed a man in my life. All right? I don't think anybody asked. Okay. Nope. I'm... <laughs> I'm Savannah Born. I love Ryan Garcia. Facts, right? God said. God oh, did. Sure. God did. Wait, no, 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 you can't disrespect Jesus. No, that's... you say you love Jesus. I love Jesus. Facts. It's giving Chanel. We innocently love each other, right? Yeah. God. Yeah. This dude is a piece of work, bro. In the same twenty-one seconds, he tells this girl, "Don't disrespect God" by saying God did, and then he ends the message saying God did. Dude, he's on this drugs. He's on something. He is on one, bro. He's on something. Drugs. I'm telling you, Scientology, dude. Something. How many genders? There's only two. He, they, Sean, fam, only, Como on. Let's be real. Yo dude, like, who do we, what is this? Let's be real. You do you, but come on. It's actually crazy. This is, hold on. How many minutes after the last one? This is 11.18 a.m. This one was 11.15 a.m. <laughs> bro, top comment. Hey, man, you okay? Yeah, bro. No one. No one. Israel will have to fight everyone. Okay? Okay. No one cares. Kids are being eaten and I'm crazy. Nah. See, he's back on that, bro. He's sticking to that story, dude. Yeah, every like two days he brings it back. Eaten? <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> We care, just how do we stop it? Yeah, you're never, you never. Bro, I saw. You never given the names up. They just normalized uh, freaking adrenochrome, dude. Oh, no. What is Seriously. this? What is this? What is it? What is it? What is adrenochrome? Someone, someone was just on a pod. I don't know what it is. What is it? Like the uh, blood of like a child or something. Adrenochrome. Is a chemical compound produced by the oxidation of adrenaline. It is a subject oh, of limited research. Adrenaline, sorry, adrenochrome is the adrenaline number. They use adrenaline from children. Oh, so like to make it is what the the is this? A, I'm yes. assuming a, is this conspiracy that they made it from children's adrenaline? Yes, but also the blood thing though. So like they, they like what they scared but, them like they did in Monsters Inc. They're doing blood transfusions. What? But, like, I just saw it somewhere. I don't know where the I saw The dark it. virality of Hollywood blood harvesting conspiracy. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is in 2020. Oh, but there was an fuck out of here. It was, like, on a Wired. podcast. And, there, and the person who was interviewing goes, but you know, like, you saying this, you know the whole conspiracy theory about how, like, the rich elite are using, like, the blood of children. And the guy's like, yeah, no, but, like, this is just like, yes, it is essentially that, but we're not doing it like against, like, we're not like kidnapping kids and whatever. It's like but they are doing it essentially. So they're acknowledging 
that this is the anti-aging thing. So they're saying that they're using, I guess, voluntary? Or, like, maybe blood harvested for, like, donation? I don't know. Donation, family, this is what they're doing. He's doing blood transfusions with younger people in his family. Who are you saying? Who is he? This person. This uh, Oh, the so guy. No, I know the guy. The dude that looks like a vampire. No, it wasn't him. It was, that wasn't Because he's doing that too, right? With his sons? He might be. I think there's... Is he, I don't know. I shouldn't say that he is or isn't, but... I know okay, he's doing yes, some weird shit. Essentially, maybe it's, yeah, exactly. Like, but yeah, how does that work, changes. though? Like, how, did, how would that even work? Like, the blood of a younger guy is now going to make your body work in reverse age? I don't know, dude. It doesn't make any sense. But, this, but if they're doing it now, they're talking about it. You know, they've been doing it for years. And if the people are doing, not doing it from their own kids, there's sure as heck people doing it. But who are the people that are anti-aging? Like, who's, who's 140 out here that we didn't know? You don't know if they're 140, but maybe they're just... They're doing it now, you know, and they're like but 70s, if they, 80s. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll listen. If it's you real, know, we'll see in the next twenty we'll years. Out. We're gonna see. Um, man, or it's like get, or it's like get out, dude. When they change their appearance too, you know, they restart it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> Folks, I didn't, I didn't, I failed to mention this at the beginning of the podcast, but my new podcast host is, is actually Ryan Garcia. Ryan, welcome to the show. It's good to have you, man. Um, is there anything else you wanted to get off your chest at the moment? What do you mean? It's yeah, like, mean? it's like, get out. Maybe they, maybe they were like. And no, get out. No, they translate, they, they took the man's brain out of his skull and put it into the freaking gardener. And that's the grandpa. Yeah, I know they were doing like their their consciousness. But, yeah, you're but, not but, doing but that. It was based on, but it was based on. It's based on a true some, story. Yeah, but somebody who is trying to like transfer somebody's brain, but like in terms of like the body of the skin, like go into somebody else's body, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're saying, bro. These people with a lot of money, they don't want to die. They, you're not gonna tra- to- you're not gonna peel someone's skin off of them like freaking Buffalo Bill or Bushwick Bill and put it onto somebody else and make it look normal. There's no way. Do that now. No, a skin graft doesn't look like a regular piece of skin. It looks like a 3D print of a burn victim. That's what it's going to be, bro. People okay, that, people walking they, around like they look... You're going to look like a bunch of freaking androids walking around, dude. That's going to look terrible. To be alive, these people... No, nah, bro. To live forever. Life is meant to be anything. lived, all right? And that's it. It ain't meant to be cheated, right? You can't... Bro, you can't cheat. You can't cheat life. It will always come back. I'm not a big believer in like... And they want to keep living, they're going to be like, all right. You can try as much as you want. I try. I'm, I'm over here, Mr. Biohacker. I know. Blood transfusions, though? That's a, that's no, no. I, I've, only, I've only done the fucking... What's it called? The PEMF, the sauna. Yep, but the, they, the guy said the kids are going <clears throat> in, getting blood drawn. But for what? Voluntarily. I don't know. They get it injected into them, and then it makes them younger. I guess it or doesn't make them younger. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't make them younger. <laughs> you, get, you get blood from an, you get blood from a five year old. Boom! You just you de-age five years. You're thirty again. Nice. Like no, bro. It doesn't make them age slower. How does that even pop? Like, bro, you you hear what you're saying? That blood from a younger individual is going to make you age slower. I know. This is where the probably where vampires came in the mix. It's probably what's happening. No, <sighs> it just this doesn't make any sense. None of no, it makes sense. Live forever, remember? What do you mean remember? These aren't real things. No vampires know, are real. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the story. I'm talking about no, yeah, okay, idea. okay, okay, yes. The idea. The, the okay, idea well, Frankenstein it. as an idea no. makes a lot of sense. You put fucking electric bolts in the guy's face and you I hook know. him up to the car engine and turn him on. But that's not what how I'm reality is works. People are trying. Uh, people with a lot of money are. Oh, okay. They're trying to figure this out. That's fine. And they're probably trying it, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not a perfect science yet. Um. Anyway, Ryan is is on the same day posts this. It is a uh, man who plotted to kill and eat children gets more than 26 years in prison. This is what Ryan does, though. He uses a case of something that he is saying is happening. Right. The kids are getting eaten, and he uses a case of. An um, individual oh, from 2013. Scenario. Yeah, bro, you better be careful. Hold up. 
a guy, a random dude in Boston was trying to kidnap kids and eat them. And he's like, look what's happening across the world. Like, no, dude, you, you can't do this kind of stuff. One, it's fear-mongering. Two, it makes it look like, I guess it makes it look like Ryan's a, a deranged psychopath, which maybe he is. Yeah. Um, I am comedy. Right after talking about the man who uh, was eating kids. Let's see what the comedy is. I'm going to stop this from spilling. Not one ounce of water is leaving. It's dropping oh, everywhere. Let's go. It's literally oh, shit. dropping everywhere. <laughs> Wait, what did he say at the end? Shit. Ow, my finger. <laughs> Ow, my finger. Oh, okay. Good lord. <laughs> Again, it's th this type of stuff I can get, okay, trolling, whatever, but it's like, I don't know. Right. The fact that he jumps from thing to thing to thing makes me think, and I, I don't care what people say when I say this, that he is attention-grabbing at the highest. Like, it's all attention-seeking. Yeah. Now, what makes that happen, I don't know. Is it a manic episode? Is it some sort of trauma? It's probably a lot of all of it, but it's all attention-seeking to me. None of this... He, I don't think he legitimately has seen babies be eaten, has been at the Bohemian Grove and been pinned down to the ground and done whatever to, he, I don't think most of the conspiracies he throws out are even real. I think it's a lot of grabbing at nothing, and I've heard this, so it, I actually saw it. And here's why. That's what I think. Here he goes. My mission is different. I'm here to save kids, not followers. Remember that. What are you saying? Save what kids from who? April 22nd, and then I'm assuming this is some sort of massive conspiracy thing to a cow, the Temple Institute. Oh, Those are just rumors. Well, oh, we have to look it up now. I need to know what the Temple Institute is now. I'm just going to put cow. The Red Heifer. Yeah, we ain't reading this. Um, I don't know what that something is. To do with Israel. Yeah, something to do with Israel and the perfect land or something. Ryan, can we go back to the Jesus post, please? And then, oh, here we go. More, more, more stuff here. What do Texan red heifers have to do with, okay, the Jewish temple? This, this is what I'm saying, dude. This is why nothing Ryan says makes any sense at all. All of it is just conspiracy grabbing. Peace. Okay, and then end times. Olivia Rodrigo, Love Bug by the Jonas Brothers. What? I've been getting hit at six years old and on. Talking about boxing, I hope. Uh... I had someone grabbing, grabbing a knife and dropping me on and dropping on me nonstop. LOL, y'all not like that. Caca brain. What, bro? This man is tripping. No one cares. Everyone likes a drama show. No one cared. Spiritual realm, crucial combined, no Jedi. It's just like, dude. Bars. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Bro, seriously, how you passing these drug tests? Cuz ain't dribbling in acting. I don't know what what that did that even mean? <laughs> I passed every test except for the, psychi the psychiatric test they wanted to give him, but he said he would sue him for it. To be fair, probably a good idea from him to, to threaten to sue yeah. him. But still, uh, didn't do that one. Bro, how do I do it? Tell me how. No one can come with an answer. Tell them. What, bro? That was so funny. No cap. Shout out Eden Rocks. I'm, you're the conspiracy expert here, so if you catch anything, let me know. I'm not catching anything right now, bro. <laughs> Post is unavailable. I don't know uh, what that was about. We're on the Haney's five days, I think. Oh, God. Here we go again. Here we go. <laughs> Ryan's working on his speed equals power. I like these videos, though. 
He, he's trying out for the Flash. He wants to be the next Grant Gustin. Watch this opening line. This is, this is beauty. He's gotten this from Connor McGregor, by the way. You, you know this is all Connor. Oh, yeah. I'm the embodiment of speed. I am speed. <laughs> 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 you got to take a pause. A dramatic pause, dude. Like, this is all cool. <laughs> there you go. I like the, the ambient music and the YouTube <laughs> video he's playing in the back. This man's a YouTuber, bro. He is. He's a social media star, dog. He really is. Uh, breaking news. He meant to say news. Snoke weed to get high. It really works. I'm high as fuck allegedly. Passed every drug test, but I'm high. Uh, she said yes. Yeah, he, he's proposing on Twitter. Bro, you don't got to test positive for drugs to freaking go through an episode. Yeah, I don't. That's how you can tell that this is attention seeking, in my opinion. Um, and then I don't know what this was. If these get a million likes, I'll drop the tape. Oh, no. Thirst trap, super flex. Thirst trap, super flex. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Woo! Oh, hell no. Yeah! You know the vibe? You caught that. Yeah. You heard? I miss it. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Good working today, guys. <laughs> Sir, God bless you guys. Motherfucker's like, shut the fuck up. Bro. All right, so he's in New York. Uh, and then he does the rings here. Like what you heard, don't be bugging either. Word, oh no, he's trying to speak like a, he, he wants to be from New York. Word to my mother be. This is what, remember when he was the presser, he learned. That's why he said that. He goes, he goes you heard? Yeah, yeah. This, this, is, this is, uh, he heard it once when he was in New York doing the presser, so now this is all he knows. It's word to my brother, mother be and you heard. Just wait till he starts saying son. It's over then. Can't be, can't be doing that, dude. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like that. I'm like that. Um. <laughs> like that. I'm hanging. Uh, oh, good Lord have mercy. Here we go. This is what I wanted to get to. And this is... By the way, guys, we are going to end the pod probably after the Ryan talk. We'll talk more about, uh, we'll get Sensei's prediction too, just because he's not going to be uh, doing the, I'll do my prediction in a separate video. But yeah. this is what I wanted to talk about. This stuff happened this morning. Uh, if you or someone has dementia, I advise you to drink wine. Pray to the Lord as best you can and smoke weed and do it to the point of exhaustion. And then make sure your caffeine intake is high. And then smoke more weed, and you will be brought back. Desperate times call for desperate measures. All good if you don't want to try this. This is not financial advice. This type of shit could get him sued, honestly. Like, this type of shit right here is like... Because he's got... How many All people follow him? I want to try this. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, this is how you cure dementia. Drink wine, smoke as much weed as you can to the point of exhaustion, and have a high caffeine intake. Isn't that what got Four Locos banned in the United States? Is having high alcohol content with high caffeine intake? Yeah, Both yeah, are yeah, dehydrants yeah. back to back together? Yeah, GG's, bro. If you or someone has dementia, I advise you to drink wine. I love the next part. Pray to the Lord as best <laughs> as you can. Assuming that you have dementia. So I don't remember <laughs> and it. you're drunk as fuck off wine. Bro, what? So you're drunk as hell and you have dementia. You just try your best to pray. After you've got, got drunk. And smoke. And then smoke. Exhaustion. And then go get a freaking caffeine high. 
and then smoke some more. <laughs> this makes sense now. This is what he's doing. This I'm is him. Drugs. This is him. He's like, no, I'm curing my own dementia every day. This is literally, he's given the game plan to what oh, he's doing. Good if you don't want to try this. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, lion's mane as well. Trust me, all glory to Jesus. <laughs> Got to get the lion's mane in there. I heard that was pretty good stuff for you. Now, check this one out. Fast for three and a half days, water all okay. black coffee, cancer will start to fall off, trust me. The cancer will start to fall off is one thing, but the other thing is not terrible advice. No, I'm, I'm not against fasting. I've done it, by the way, on the, on the advisement of, of uh, Coach Tang. I did a, yeah. a three-day fast. Uh, no, I did a four-day fast. Coffee. I did a four-day fast, all water and Himalayan salt. Yeah. I couldn't make it to five. I was trying to get to five. I couldn't do it. But right. uh, the four-day fast definitely didn't feel anything different from. What I think he's trying to get at here is that fasting has anecdotal evidence of reversing some pretty major health issues. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to say it cures cancer because you can't say that. Right. That's the... Um, okay. Can't say that. And definitely don't say trust me after that. Um, <laughs> definitely don't do that. And not after three days. Three and a half days, trust me. Trust, trust me. crazy trust after me. saying cancer will fall off. That's crazy. <laughs> and the fact that he says it like trust that. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. Cancer trust will start me. to fall off. Where yeah. is it falling from and where is it going? <laughs> fall off yeah. what? Uh, no, like I've heard anecdotes of, like again, Coach Tang. But right. he fasted for a month. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Autophagy is what you're trying to get at. It's what I think he's trying yeah. to get at, right? The ability of cells to then potentially eat or get rid of bad cells and replenish the with the body new. starts into a reboot. Right. That's like, even then, autophagy is still not necessarily proven right by fasts, but and especially the days, like you don't know when it's going to happen type shit. But yeah, you're, that's insane to say. Um, I'm, oh, then it, this is the funniest part. He says that. He says those two things and then says this. I'm trying to help people that are sick. So many people die from these diseases that aren't meant to kill. What? And you want what? me to stop? <laughs> no, I understand what needs to be done to help people survive. I don't understand how you don't get sued saying stuff like this. What are these diseases meant to do? Every disease is meant to kill you. It's just that medicine and your body right. are able to fight them off. The flu, you don't get the flu as I a know, means to like, get better. No. The flu is there to fuck you up, dude. Your body's just better at surviving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What is this guy? <laughs> He's like, yeah, bro, drink wine, smoke weed, get caffeine high, and then fast. All at the same time, I'm trying to help people. Actual maniac. Oh, this one I think is actually funny. He said he can't read. Hey, this is Devin Haney. Watch me fight Ryan Garcia on April 20th at a Dave & Buster's venue near you. He read it. It wasn't the greatest, but he read it. He got through it. That's a terrible freaking promo. He got through it. Come on. I No, when I, when I, when I mean by that, I think he did all right. But what they wrote, yeah, what they wrote. What they wrote, and then they set him up, and they said, no, nah, it's good. Bro, this man is just... <laughs> Why would you tell him to watch it? It's got to be a Dave & Buster specific. He's like, all right, so... <laughs> bro, the way he's looking at it, his eyes, bro? Yeah. Also, I thought there was going to be more, dude. If you nah, quick to... hitter. Quick hitter for, for Dave & Buster's there. Like, you uh, don't need a bro, you don't need to script that. Go back. Oh, God, you, go back. here we go. The breakdown on the Provo. Hey, this is Devin Haney. Watch me fight Ryan Garcia on April 20th at a Dave & Buster's venue near you. They should be on a well, teleprompter. Why is the prompter over yourself, here? yourself, tell them when you're fighting, and tell them it's going to be on a Dave & Buster's near you, bro. We don't have to be reading that. Yeah, you, don't, you shouldn't have to prompt that one. 10-second promo. What's up? Is Devin Haney here? I mean, fight A little bit more Ryan natural. Garcia, April 20th. About to whip his ass on April 20th. You could catch it live at the Dave & Buster's near you. Bam. Done. Yeah, like you, were you scripting this? Yeah, bro. That, that makes Devin Haney, who already isn't the greatest personality, have even less. Um, rough. Devin Haney said to Ryan, uh, 
you're fasting to make weight, keep starving, ho. <laughs> Damn. Um, after Ryan was telling people that they should fast to cure cancer. And Ryan said, bro, you couldn't even fast for Ramadan. That's actually true. Devin didn't do Ramadan, which again, whatever. Um, but I know that people that practice religion were not happy about that. Uh, yeah. So what are you on about, bro? Everything about you is fake. Find out this Saturday. Okay. Don't speak on my religion. You know nothing, Devin said. And then he came back with, I'm just telling the truth. You're using religion to try, try to discredit my voice. That's ironic. You are a kid. I am a man. Settle down before I prove I know the Quran better than you. Oh, no. Brian's oh, going to... He's going to no. misquote scripture again, dude, just like he did to me when he tried to tell me why he was speaking in tongues and how it was possible. While he was explaining, he was speaking in tongues to me. Settle down before... Ryan hit me with one of these. I know the Shamala, he hit me one of those and then told me. He was like, I'm speaking in tongues. Check it. Shamala, and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's not how it works, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it is. So uh, that was Ryan out religioning Devin Haney there. I would love to see it. I'd love to see these two try to get through who knows scripture better. It would be hilarious. I will delete Devin Haney in the second round after I allow him to survive the first and then look at his dad in his eyes and say, save your son so he can enjoy some of his money. We will see how much he loves his son. Ooh, now we're getting dark, Ryan, right? Now, now the alter ego is switched. He's off the, the caffeine and wine, son. 11 hours ago. Then he says, I want live reactions to what you were, on, you were about to witness. I need to see all the faces who decided to bet against. And then, of course, the faces who believed Jesus is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha Omega, Christina, Devin, Christina. I don't know if that's Devin's mom, what that was, but what? anyway, uh, <laughs> man said easy. The 5 to 20, let's go, dude. Devin Haney to win. Devin Haney to win. Devin Haney to win. This one's Devin Haney to win in 60 seconds, son. Plus 15 the grand. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so that has been the day of, uh, oh, excuse me, two days of Ryan Garcia tweeting. That took us 50 minutes to cover. Christian, oh wait, it's not over. Sorry, just kidding. What? Um, let's see, let's see. How about throw away 40K? Everybody's <laughs> tweeting their bets on Devin. <laughs> My intention... 40. My intention in my heart is to make Devin cry before even entering the ring at a press conference, something he will be crying. Okay, so that's why I said this fight week's going to be interesting. Yeah, bro. That's why he's turned out. He knows it's fight week, bro. Yeah, but the problem is Ryan gets to nobody with this. He's running in a circle, chasing his own tail, and then looking at everybody being like, look how much I'm doing, and no one's paying attention. And then he did a 15-minute live. Oh, Jesus. Is he... Oh, he's not working right now. This is the last one of the day. Last one we'll do, and then we'll get out of here because I can tell the red eyes are sitting in over there. I know my, my, no, my camera unfocused. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, you're about to pass out. <laughs> there we go. Okay, what's the time? Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a... Bye, Devin, motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? Dude, oh, I'm just going to say... Dead. Dead. Death to Haney, motherfucker. Death to Haney, motherfucker. That's your, your Jesus-fearing Christ lover, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck him. Wrong, motherfucker. Kill that motherfucker. Dead. What? Pick the wrong fight. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> this is legit a scene at the office, bro. He did one. Dude. In scene. In scene. Bro. I'm just gonna say it. He's a literal crackhead. Like he's he's an actual crackhead. Bro, he is. You could find someone like this on Skid Row in Los Angeles right now doing this. Talking just like this, running around just like this. If you gave them a gym to do it in, they grab the rings and do flips just like that. 
You saw him doing those push-ups and hand and bear crawls. They're doing that right now on Skid Row. One hundred percent crackhead energy, bro. They they'll walk up and be like, "What, what can I do for five dollars?" You could tell them to mimic this, and they do it better. <laughs> They'd hit a backflip into a freaking split while yelling out some crazy shit. I've seen a video of that. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the super crackhead. The guy super crackheads, like, bro. Round off like four backhand springs <laughs> and a back tally over a car. It's like, that's bro. what he is. He's all death to Haney. He's ah, I tried to hit those dips. Couldn't do those. You can do all the gr- ring grabs and flips, but when you got to actually use those, oh, bro, you ain't doing those dips like that. He's selling the fight, though, because it makes me want to watch the fight even that much more. It makes me want to watch the press conferences. That's what it makes yeah. me want to watch. But yes, of course, the end of it being what's he actually going to do when he fights. And to be fair, like, yes, if this. If he wins, bro, it's going to get a million oh times. Oh, my God. Worse. If he wins, it's going to get way worse, dog. He's going to. Like, bro, if he wins, he's going to call himself bro. Jesus Christ. If he wins, he's going Ooh. to be God to him. Let Jameis Winston win a Super Bowl, dude. <laughs> if that guy won a Super Bowl, bro. No, Ryan's worse, for sure. It'd be over for everybody forever. Ryan's so much worse. Ryan is worse, yeah. No, 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 you're right. He, he will. He'll put the crown on and be like, I'm, I'm a prophet. He's already saying it. Is this more thirst traps? Like, what the- no, no, this was, this was him live for 15. 15- oh, it is thirst trap, yeah. He's live. Flex to start the live. Put his mom on cam. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to get too deep into that. Um, but yeah, that's Ryan Garcia. Let's get your pick. Uh, Twelve rounds, WBC title, one forty. I got Ryan, dude. What? How does he get it done? He has to knock him out. I don't know. He has to knock him out. He seems, seems too crazy to lose. He has to knock him out if he's gonna win. Yeah. I so gonna... what are you saying? Early, late? I think if he has to, I think he has to knock him out, and I think, I don't know, man. If like Ryan could probably, he could carry it late for sure. But I think, yeah, what Ryan's got, mid, what's gotten mid. Ryan in trouble is when he comes out super aggressive with guys like Devin. Yeah, and there, I shouldn't say guys like Devin. He's lost fights because he wants to come out super early and and uh, aggressive in the amateurs with Devin, and Devin's beat him for it. Now, granted, this is not amateur boxing. It's different, but I, I could see Ryan getting a little overzealous early, getting yeah. caught. Um, you said mid to late? That's what I feel like, bro. Okay. Mid to late round uh, knockout finish. If he does it, dude, oh, my God. I want to see it. You just want to see okay. chaos. You want, you're, you're on your I'm Joker vibe it. right now. You just want to see uh, the world burn. Ryan with a belt. Oh, my God. Would be the you worst choke. It would be the worst choke in in like I shouldn't say in history because there's massive upsets across. What's the line right now? Yeah. Let me see. What is the line? Yeah, how much is he? Uh, At one it? point, Haney was minus one thousand, bro. What? Yeah, dude. Christian, obviously, don't show this shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bro, I lost all my money betting last time. <laughs> Look at this shit. No. Yeah, bro. I had 600 in the account. Said, see ya. Um, let's go boxing here. Boxing odds. Da, da, da. Upcoming. Why is only baseball on here? Where's the boxing odds? There we go. All right, let's see. So my bookie's lines are a little different than like U.S. states lines, so it's probably still at minus probably 950 or 1,000, depending on. Okay. So it's massive. So let's, let's, let's just play a little game of, you know, betting on Devin. Let's say I put 100 on Dev. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, we making, we making $11 on that, bud. What? That's how big a favorite he is. Now, you, put, you, put, a, 100 you, you on- put 100 on Ryan, you're walking out 500 richer, buddy. Or 400 richer. Let's say I went crazy and put a thou wow down. You know what I'm saying? Now, you want to get super crazy, we could prop bet, too. I'm teaching so Sensei put, a bad a habit thousand, right now. You put a thousand on... Wait, what's the... What's the what about Ryan by... Ryan by plus KO? 4, plus Ryan thousand. by KO is plus 890. So, and that's the way you think he has to win, too. So let's put a thousand down on, on Ryan by KO. We walking out with $9,000. Look, see, I told you, I'm teaching you bad habits right now, dude. I'm teaching you bad habits, dog. (laughs) 
But let's say, you know, budgetary, budgetary bet. Well, $10. Well, $89 richer. You know what I'm saying? How about $100? <laughs> well, $100, you're walking out $900, buddy. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 I should have never done it, bro. I should have never done it. <laughs> oh, shit. What um, I need to do is create a fund. Yes, yes. I, well, that's what I do. Yeah, just a we could go. We could go even crazier. You want to pick the round? Look at some of these odds for... for uh, now, when you like pick a round and all this stuff, is it like... The f- it, like, like Ryan next, wins the, by knockout so in that round. You have, to, you have to get all of it. Yeah, well, you, it's not all of it. You have to get it exactly. Like, if I pick Ryan Garcia to win, you could, I mean, you could parlay it for sure. Um, but let's, let's say I just want to pick Ryan to win by knockout in round 10. Yeah. 100 to win 5,000. <laughs> you see what I'm it's saying? Though no, this, this is, this is, I'm teaching you bad, I'm teaching you bad habits. Hold bro. on, hold on, hold on. But, can but there's max bets too, like on this. Also, but bet just the knockout. Can you parlay or this no? with the knockout? I don't think on my bookie you can. Let me see. Not parlay, but you can. You just bet the knockout and then also just bet the round separately. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah, you could on separate straight bets, not on a parlay. I'm saying separate straight bets. You can. Yeah, right? yeah, you could put like a hundred down Wait, for so the knockout. If you, if you you can bet the round and for a hundred dollars and you'd win five thousand. If you got it right, depending on the round, let's see. Obviously, if you got it right, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the round, though, like different odds for different rounds. Like Ryan Garcia in round three, it plus eight thousand, son. So you put a hundred down, you win at eight thousand. Wow. <laughs> Question: if You put a. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm figuring out this math here, even though I'm like half dead. Yeah. If you put a hundred down, uh-huh. I've, I've seen people do this. Like I've heard of it, where like they make the perfect bet. It's a parlay, usually, probably. Like where you can bet enough that no matter what, you'll win something. Okay. Usually, okay. Usually, that would be straight like bets, back to back to back. It would back. have to be a it would have to be a knockout. But I'm like, if you put a hundred down on each round, he would he he would have to win via knockout. But if he won at least one round, you'd make your money back. So you're saying if you put a if you put a hundred down on Ryan to win on any round, you would make your money back, yes, and some. If Ryan won, so like like let's say you put a hundred down on Ryan to win any round, like you put a hundred on all rounds for Ryan. Yeah. If Ryan, the only way you wouldn't make money back is if Ryan won a decision. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. If he or if he didn't win, yeah. but if he won by right. knockout, you're winning your money back and some because that would only be twelve hundred dollars right. you would put down. And you would win right. at least three hundred. At least you'd get That's three thousand back. Because like I would always. But you could like do this you too. Bet. You could do this you too. You, the safer the, bet would be reasonable underdog. Yeah. The safer bet would be if you were thinking there was going to be a stoppage at all. You would bet rounds one through twelve, Haney. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying. And then you would at least make a thousand back. But that's Wait, still so, risky, bro. That's way risky. What you're for, trying to do is way risky. No, 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 no. Of course, of course. But ra- like uh, Haney in round three mm-hmm. is plus twenty plus twenty three hundred. Yeah, that's not bad. How about Haney in round one? You know, people are taking that plus forty one hundred. Ryan wow. comes out a little too aggressive, gets caught. Gervonta stopped him in round two, I think. Right? Yeah. You know, and that's a hundred bucks, and you you hundred bucks, with you walk right with forty one hundred, buddy, for a Devin Haney round one stop. Jeez, dude. Can you imagine? Now, here's the thing. Devin Haney, not a big power puncher. Right. Not really stopping fools like that. The safe money, and that's why you can see it, minus 216 is on Devin Haney by decision. That's the Bro. safe money. First Honestly, off, though? I can see why people lose all of their money. Yeah, dude. Because you're like, oh, yeah, I, listen, oh, I can feel it, dude. <laughs> see, I knew once I showed you those, those round it's individual splits, I knew you'd do this. All right, we'll go to rounds then. I can put fifty on that. All right, you want to put fifty on it? One. You want to put, you want to put fifty on it? Oh, dude, now I'm like, wait, I should put a, what's handy? Fifty by fifty on that and get you uh plus four oh five. No, no, excuse me, plus three ninety five. Listen, you know what I'm saying? That's nice. That's groceries for the month. You feel what I'm saying? I know, I know, I know, but that's the light bill. You feel what I mean? 
Light, water, and gas all combined. So like, you can go for a month. You feel what I'm saying? And you got 50 left over. And then... And then you could go with the rounds. Ryan on two, three, four is all... And 12 is plus 8,000. Imagine he did it in 12. That'd be crazy. See, this is where I know y'all be losing it. Because if yeah. I put like 25 bucks down on eight plus 8, and he freaking does it, dude. Oh, you'd be you'd be pissed, one hundred percent. You go, ah, bro, it's crazy. Because if you put twenty five down on that, woo, you coming away with a nice two hundred, two thousand three hundred and fifty. But that's where I. Feel, but still, here is the thing. Yeah, you the can't fact that him, Devin is still a plus for well for knockouts, yeah. But the thing is, you're you're given a one in twelve chance, even if you think Devin's gonna knock him out. Right. Which is not great odds, but that's why they're so heavy. Yeah. Darcy had round 12, so it was, was it round two and round four? Two, three, four, and 12 for Ryan is plus 8,000. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be tough for Ryan. Once Devin downloads, it's going to be tough for him. <laughs> Devin's been caught late in fights. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just saying. You're playing with house money, dog. You're playing with house money. Do you want to put that 50 down on 890? Um, it's crazy that the max bet is only... You can only go 157 on max bet on these. That's wild. You can only do what? 157. Dollars? Yeah. Oh, that's the max you can bet on that? Yeah. On this specific oh, website. Oh, gotcha. Obviously, if you go to some of these other websites you can bet a heavy number on that yeah um yeah we'll throw 50 okay now what are you doing with this other 50 mm. <laughs> converting since they into a gambler live is hilarious i'm like i'm like ryan round two i'm like ooh. you like that you like that number is that is that number speaking to you <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna put thirty to put thirty on that. Okay, <laughs> how do y'all do this, dude? <laughs> you gotta set it and forget it, dude. That's how. But it makes fight. It makes watching fights a lot more tense, dude. <laughs> Bro, that's why I was like, that's that's one of the reasons I don't. That's why you do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I can't appreciate the the a sporting <laughs> the event. The fight. That I'm You're watching. like, come on, knock him down. Or even like a sport, like a, like a like a football game or a oh, basketball yeah. game. But that's what I'm saying. It it makes things more interesting, especially for me on live stream because I'm fucking freaking out. Uh, and also when oh, I don't care true. about a, a fight or I don't care about a team in football or whatever, then it makes me like want to yeah. watch the game. You know what I mean? That's very true. All right. Yeah. Place it. All right. There you go, dude. I'll Bang. All right. I'm, I'm going to hit one for me real quick for the one. Uh, we're definitely doing that by the way. What's 150 on that look like? <laughs> Fuck it. We ride. All right. I'm hey, um, what? I'm Devin. Round Devin one. round one. Fuck it. 150 on Devin round one. What, imagine one fifty into six grand, he buddy. We'll leave the we'll leave the fifty to see if the lines That's why change. I feel like it's smart to. Do, like, it does make sense though, because if you do that enough, you're 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 hoping that you're gonna hit one of those. Exactly. And if you, you do know, hit you one, you always try to you try to go big. The, like the, small to big is the my idea. Like it's safer right. to go you know big money in, big money out. Like right, you know? the thing that makes the, the most the most logical upset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, or the most or logical the most logical that, favorite. Like, Drake just put down, like, you have to put down ridiculous money to win like that. Drake put down 600K on Alex and won a mil. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you have to do. But that, but he just put out just for him to win? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, it's like. No, he, he won a million total, not a million plus. Like, he did won a million. million total, win. not a million plus. So, he won 400K. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You have to put that kind of money up to make that kind of money. Like, if I put 60 up to win 40, it's like, you know what I'm saying? But if I put 600 grand up to win 400 grand, I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Difference. Yeah, yeah, still 60, 40% on it. So, All right, bro, there it is. Uh, long ass wow. pod. Uh, I've now turned Sente into a degenerate. I'm sorry to everyone. This is not something he's going to continue doing, but I just thought, hey, man, 
put it on the house one time, see if we, we let it ride. Wait, we gotta wait and see because if I win, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing it anymore. I'm cutting you off, fam. We win, it's like, uh, my like wifey. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying, uh, we, uh, we lock it in here. Uh, we'll be here like reading. You're over here the, yeah, you're deep into the freaking rabbit holes of bookies. Uh, comment section. Let us know what you think about the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. My prediction will be out later this week. Um, yeah, amazing fight week last week, another one this week, and more coming in the future for all those things in the sporting world and otherwise. We don't have those answers, but I guess we'll find out. Ka-ching. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground in a 